and uh, personal photographs and provide an airline booking reservation. Make an online payment using a valid visa or a master a card. And then the other thing is uh, once the application is complete, visitors will be contacted via email uh, with a response to their visa application. All visas are approved and issued at the uh, at the sole directorate, I mean, uh, discretion of Qatar's Ministry of Interior. That is where you can actually book your visa from. And then the other thing I want to take, this one takes a maximum of 30 days. That is the time you will stay here in Qatar. That is for a uh, visit visa. Of course, I want to repeat once again uh, one of the uh, basics one of the points for a Qatar a tourist visa visitors are required to complete an online form upload required documents including passport scans also upload personal photographs and provide an airline uh, booking reservation uh, uh, and then make an online payment using a valid visa or a MasterCard and then secondly once the application is complete Visitors will be contacted via email with a response to their visa application. So for you who want to come to Qatar for a visit visa, that is how it is done. And then, of course, I want to share with you something which is also crucial here. In this uh, topic, how to apply for Qatar online e-visa from Uganda for those who are Ugandans. Number one step is uh, Ugandan citizens need to get a visa for Qatar online. Uh, if you are there in Uganda, you can still uh, book your a visa online. And then second thing is fill online application form for all uh, those who are Ugandans. And then thirdly, the third one is um, after filling, providing the required documents and make the payment online and submit necessary documents. And that is what you actually do. I want to elaborate on this one. After you have filled uh, your application, of course, with the required documents that they're asking you to fill in the form, please make the necessary payment online. You can either use a MasterCard or you can use uh, uh, the one that uh, has been said above. And then the, f the, the fourth step is once the visa application for Qatar is approved, that means now when you are applying from Uganda, uh, Qatar here is the one to approve your visa. And then the e-visa is sent to you as the applicant through your email. That means you must fill the uh, the email that you usually use so that you can be getting some of the responses using your own email and then the fifth one is uh, after you uh, you get the visa you can travel to Qatar and stay for the duration of your visa and of course we know uh, this visa is always only 30 days as it has been said from there and then we will be looking at the 10 documents required for Qatar tourist visa 10 documents required for Qatar tourist visa. One of the things is visa application form, completed online application form for Qatar. This is online application form. In the case you want to, uh, to apply for a tourist visa, I know uh, right now there are many people who want to come to Qatar, especially to spend their time during this time of World Cup. And then two, passport photo. If you have your passport, that means you have to uh, uh, photograph or photocopy that uh, passport of yours and then you attach. A photo uh, must be, uh, must be uh, not more than a photo must must be no other than six months. That's that means your passport should be valid. It must not be older than I mean must not be older than six months. That means 
you make sure that your passport photo is current because you know people keep changing by six months you would have maybe plated your hair or you would have changed the hairstyle or you have got uh, 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 environmental factors that uh, that affect your well-being can be accident can be anything so your photo must not be older than six months that is what i've read here and then number three health documents you should have a negative covid 19 pcr test result required for all international travelers coming to qatar okay so you should uh, uh, have this and then of course vaccination document that is covid 19 vaccination proof for all travelers coming here to qatar and then of course the last dose of vaccine must be taken at least 14 days before departure and then uh, number five is passport copy you should have a passport copy and then of course accommodation bookings for those who are coming here you have your reservations where you will stay here in qatar and then number seven travel bookings for example your ticket uh, ticket flight reservation that maybe uh, you'll be flying to Qatar by a specified time and then tax returns income tax revenue returns of the applicant in Uganda income tax uh, papers which show an annual gross income of um, uh, USD uh, dollars eight thousand dollars or more than you should have also that because you never know are you coming here and then you spend all the rest of your money and then you become stranded so at least you should be having um that kind of amount in your wallet <laughs> and then of course number nine travel uh, evidence a proof which can prove that you have traveled to certain countries that is for you is uh coming here for a visit you should have that proof and then lastly is invitation letter a letter from your relative or friend or company inviting you to visit and their uh, and their relationship to you the letter could state the purpose of your visit and length of stay if you will be staying with them if this uh, person will be paying for your stay provide proof of their funds if staying with the Qatari resident or friend relative an invitation letter from this resident along with his or her Qatar resident visa copy or Qatar ID or passport so I am telling you like me I cannot host you here because I cannot really afford all this so some people were asking maybe I can uh, do this kind of um, help because you know many people want to to, uh, to come here through me but always I've said it is not easy so these are some of the requirements for you who is coming here for uh, a visit visa for those who are coming from Uganda so it is saying there are so many ways that you can uh, uh, come here but of course this is specifically for those who want to come on a visit visa how to apply for Qatar online e-visa from uganda so i want to say thank you so much for watching and uh, in case you have not subscribed to our youtube channel please do so as you be blessed in this evening thank you so much may god bless you we meet again in the next episode